Year 3 Subtraction In Year 3 what's built, what has been learnt in Year 2 and Year 1 is built upon and the use of number lines is something that the children are encouraged to use. Here we have 84 take away 56. The children up, up until Year 3 will have been using number lines to count on or count back depending on the numbers that they are given. This is an example where the children could be split on what, how they decide to use the number line because 84 and 56 are quite close together but some children may decide that they want to count back. If we start with the counting forward, we have 84 take away 56. So our smallest number goes at the start of the number line and our largest number goes at the end. When we're counting forward, we are looking for the difference between those two numbers. And so we are working out our jumps and then at the end, adding those jumps together to find our final answer. So we're looking for a difference because taking away is looking for a difference. So if we do this, we have 56 and we want to get to 84. A nice easy jump is to take our 56 to something that ends in zero, the next multiple of 10. The next multiple of 10 after 56 is 60. And to get from 56 to 60, we add on four. I'm at 60 and I want to get to 84. Some children would immediately recognise that they needed to add on 24 to get from 60 to 84. Other children might need to do small jumps of 10. Then you've got children in the middle who might think, well I want to get to a number that ends in 0 underneath 84, which would be 80. That's the multiple of 10 that's as close as I can get to 84. And then 60 to 80 is a nice easy jump, that's adding on 20. Then I can see, well, 80 to 84 is just adding on 4. Now that we've got our jumps, we've got to add our jumps together. Start with the big one, I've got 20 and I've got two 4s. Well, double 4 is 8, add 20 is 28. So 84 take away 56 is 28. That would be the more straightforward way of doing it. Some children might prefer to count back. Counting back, we start with our 84, our large number, at the right-hand side of our number line, and we'll count back 54. 84, take away 50, so we're partitioning our last number, our tens and our units. 84 take away 50 is 34. We've taken away our tens, now we've got six units to take away. Some children could do that in one big jump of six. Other children might think, well, I'm going to take my four away first to get me down to 30. I wanted to take away six, I've taken away four, so I've got two left to take off. 30 take away two is 28, so my answer is 28. And that's clearly showing the two methods. You can jump back even with those larger numbers but it really depends on what the children are most comfortable with and what they feel will give them the most accurate answer. Another example is 184 take away 23. With this method, sorry, with this number sentence, it w children wouldn't be encouraged to be counting up 23 and 184 are numbers that have a huge difference between them. So counting back is the best method if you're using a number line. If we start with 184 and we know that we want to partition our tens and our units to take it away from 184, we would first of all jump back 20. Some children might decide to jump back in two lots of 10, which is fine. 184 take away 20, is 164. We've taken away the tens, now we need to take away the units. We've got three units. Some children might want to jump back in ones, hopefully they'd be able to jump back in a whole three. 164 take away three is 161 and that gives us our final answer of 161. Here we have 57 take away 43. Children could partition this. As in year 
As in the previous year group, we have our tens and our units and our tens and our units. And the children might think, right, well I have 50 and I want to take away 40, which gives me 10. So we've taken away our tens. And my units, I have 7. To take away 3 gives me 4. Putting those two back together, 10 add 4 gives me 14. So my final answer is 14. Partitioning works very well with this. But this example also allows us to show the beginning of the expanded decomposition method. It can be quite complicated to begin with, but once the children have got the hang of it, it does prefer, prepare them for the compact method when they get higher up the school. 57 take away 43. This prepares them for the written method. We would write 50 and 7. We wouldn't confuse that with the plus sign because we don't want we don't want to confuse a subtraction sentence with a subtraction with an addition sentence sorry and we want to take away 40 and 3 so in a sense it's very similar to the partitioning method in that we are splitting up the numbers and we're placing them on top of each other so we can see them clearly 50 and 7 take away 40 and 3 it's then very important to recognise, can I take my tens away? Of course I can, because this is a smaller number. Can I take my units away? This isn't always possible, it is here, so this is a nice straightforward answer. 50 take away 40 is 10, and 7 take away 3 is 4. I know that 10 and 4 together make 14, so my answer is 14. It does seem quite a long-winded method but it does prefer, prepare children for when they use the full written method. This gets more difficult when the children need to begin to exchange. So if we look at this example and use the same approach we have 80 and 1 take away 50 and 7. Now straight away we can see we're fine with our tens taken away and we know that this is a bigger number anyway, so we're going to be. But in our units we have one unit and we need to take away seven. Now we can't take away seven from one. So what we need to do is we need to expand this further and we need to do some exchange and we need to push a ten over from our eighty into our unit, into our 1. And if we push a 10 over, we're left with 70 because we've taken a 10 away from our 80. 70 and that 10 has gone to, gone to here and it's added to our 1. And 10 and 1 together make 11. So 80 and 1 is the same as 70 and 11 and we're still taking away 50 and 7. We have our lines underneath here because we know that we're working towards an answer and we look right our tens we can still do that 70 take away 50, 11 take away 7 we can do that now so now we can begin to do it. 70 take away 50 is 20 and 11 take away 7 is 4 so our answer is 24, 20 and 4 together. So our answer is 24. This begins to get children ready for the compact written method which where, where we do need to do this exchanging but it gets them to actually set it out and understand why and how we do that. Moving forward, 58 take away 19 is a rounding and adjusting example. Very similar to one in the previous year group We'd start with our larger number, which is 58. We want to take away 19. 19 is nearly 20. So the children can easily take away 20. They could do this in two jumps of 10. 58 take away 20 is 38. They want to take away 19. They've taken away 20, so they've taken away an extra one. 
So at the end, we've got to add that extra one back on. 38 add 1 is 39, so our final answer to 58 take away 19 is 39. Again, as we talked about in the previous year group, children may not use a number line for this, and they may be happier to say 58 take away 20 equals 38. 38 add 1 equals 39. And so do it in a jotting method rather than using a number line. Both of these give the right answer and the children would be encouraged to use the one that works best for them.